Hi guys, welcome back to the Mama Mixer. It's Shirley here from Life as a Twin Mom. Today I'm going to share with you some summer survival tips. I'll be home this summer with two kids by myself and I have a few tricks up my sleeve to help with tantrums and tears. Make a daily schedule. One day your child was in school with a nice routine and literally the next day they woke up to no structure. I've decided to make a daily schedule so our kids don't have to guess what's coming next. Here's what you'll need to make the same as mine. A printable daily schedule, some kind of cardboard or cardstock, something about two to three inches in width and it's gonna be as long as you would like your schedule to be. Also a paper cutter, but this is optional. Some scissors, a glue gun and glue sticks. Word strips, you get 30 to a package. You'll need one per task. Some clear contact paper, stick glue, some kind of hook and loop fasteners. The Dollar Tree had circles and strips. The strips, you get more bang for your buck, but the circles are more convenient. Some mailing tape and whatever old random magnets you have laying around the house. First start by using your paper cutter and cut all of your tasks into strips. Using your glue stick, Glue your task onto your word strip. Then roll out your contact paper. I used my cutter as a paperweight and take a word strip, measure it on the bottom, give yourself some room all around the word strip, and then take your scissors and cut all the way up to the top. Remove the contact paper from the backing and leave it sticky side up. Then start placing your word strips one by one, leaving a small amount of room in between each. Take your word strips, Fold them down like so and put them to the side. Now you're going to work on the contact paper for the back, doing the same thing you did for the front. Now take your word strips, line them up with the top and roll them down. This is going to help you avoid air bubbles. Another trick to help with air bubbles is to use a card. Then using your scissors, cut around all of the word strips, leaving a small border. Then you can cut down the center and you'll have each word strip cut individually. Now you want to take your strips of cardboard or construction paper, whatever you chose, and make it to your desired length. I want mine a little long, so I'm going to tape two at the seams. Take your mailing tape and you cover one side of your cardboard strip completely in the mailing tape. So it's almost as if it's laminated too. And you can use your card to get out any air bubbles as well. Take your Velcro and match up the pieces and then cut them apart. If you're going to be using the long piece, get those together and then you want to cut them into small little squares about this size. Next, take your word card and stick one side in the center. When you add the Velcro to your word strip, make sure it's fuzzy side down. Unstick the other side and stick that onto your strip. And just keep repeating all the way down. When you're all done, flip it over and hot glue on your magnet. And there you go. Now you have a daily schedule. Your kids can see what's happening next and it can change just like your mood. Set up a snack and beverage station so you're not running to the fridge every five minutes. The beverage portion, I have six containers. So two for each kid, breakfast, milk, lunch, juice, and dinner, milk again. And up here by our bottled water, I have a um, little water dispenser with some lemon because the kids don't really like plain water so it's lemon water and we have a little spout here so that the kids can pour it themselves and this is their water cup this is Noah's and here is Caleb's they know which cup is theirs and then on the back I just hot glued a magnet when they're done there you go here's our dry snack container and I found these cute little sandwich bags one with blue dinosaurs and the other with green dinosaurs so Noah has blue Caleb has green um, inside they have popcorn and they like different things so Noah's having dry cereal Caleb has apple sticks and some peanut butter filled pretzels but regular pretzels now each kid can pick out what they want and and sit at their table and enjoy. Tip three, pack an outside bag. This year I decided to pack a bag just for our backyard. Inside I have all the essentials to get us through an afternoon of play. First, every mama knows you're gonna need some sunscreen. Also some band-aids to make all our boo-boos better. Some wipies for them grubby hands. Sunglasses, mine are from the Dollar Tree so I don't care if they break. A little pouch for me with some hair ties chapstick and a small nail filer and normally I do pack the boys something to drink before we go out but if they get extra thirsty I have a water bottle for each person. We like to keep our outside bag behind the couch. It's next to our sliding glass doors and the boys take turns carrying it outside and then we always have what we need. Alright guys I hope you found those helpful. If you did hit that like button and if you like our channel please don't forget to subscribe. We put out videos every Friday and you can live chat with us every other Tuesday. As a matter of fact, we're live this Tuesday 
9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please log on and chat with us. We'd love to hear from you. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.